Men of Reddit, what pisses you off most about other men? When they try to act tough, like aggressive tough. Buddy, you aren't badass, you're acting like a child with a temper. Older men hate taking instruction from young guys like myself in the trades. Instead of dropping their ego and feelings at the door, they come in with no experience and won't allow me to teach them. It's a lot of patience and I find it very frustrating. You may be older but shut the beep up and let me teach you something bud. Having to know everything or out expert each other. When did it become unmanly to say I don't know? How some men have no problem going after another man's GF or spouse, but they go psycho if it happens to them. Guys that become completely different when there's no women around. Guy at work is always nice to his female coworkers. Second they're gone, they're a bunch of dumb beep in need of his manly love. I've heard him tell women that his having three sisters gives him a great respect for them. He also told me, when the ladies weren't around, that having three sisters gives him insight to their weaknesses and allows him to easily take advantage of them. Guys who beep on what other people like and don't like of because of stupid macho beep. When they have to make damn sure they show they're an alpha male, like they're an animal or a caveman. I try to give genuine compliments and not just jokes all the time. A good dad should be told, a nice haircut can be noticed, and an accomplishment can be praised. No sarcasm needed. Edit. Over 20,000 upvotes is insane. Thank you all. I hope it translates to 20,000 compliments. Dudes who would rather put you down for not knowing every single detail about something rather than genuinely trying to help teach others and spread information. And if they do manage to give a hell to help, they for whatever reason, have to have this demeaning, belittling tone. Edit. Holy cow, I am damn near brought to tears seeing so many people click with this. Oh man, that feels good. Thanks y'all today was tough but this was simply amazing. When we shut each other down instead of building each other up and think it's cool and okay. I've been guilty of it too but I'm trying to be better. You guys, I am overwhelmed with the discussions, awards, undeserved, and how much attention this post has gotten. Thank you all for your support and honesty and I will try to reply to everyone. Turning insecurity into aggression and hatred for others. The constant competition, aka, cock blocking, dick measuring contests. Men not supporting other men emotionally, even when it doesn't seem like they need it. Every man needs emotional support, especially from other men. I don't have much to complain about my guy friends, however, I just hate some men who, when in a group, keep trying to establish dominance. They usually do that by being loud, interrupting people and laughing at you, instead of laughing with you. Men who refer to themselves as alpha. Men that think it's unmanly to drink delicious cocktails. Why is it suddenly unmanly to have a sweet tooth when it comes to drinks? I mean you don't go to someone's wedding and then say, ha cake? No way I'm a real man. Guys who peacock their extravagant purchases. Stupid power games. I'm like dude, we work retail. Get over yourself. Edit. Aw man. Thank you so much for the awards. Edit 2. Holy crap. Thanks for the silver. I live in the middle of a pretty calm small town. Even then, my wife can't take the dog for a walk by herself without being harassed, some d-bag whistling at her or yelling out a car window at her. Fellas, what exactly are you hoping to accomplish when you do that? I don't think twice about taking the dog for a walk down any street or alley in town at any hour day or night. It's awful that women can't just go for a walk on a nice evening without being bothered. When they mistake being a dick to others as masculinity. Or when they mistake being fat with being strong. The older I get the more I am hating men revving their loud cars and motorcycles. I live in a pretty busy area of Dallas and especially at night they just love to show off and screech their tires and rev their loud mufflers to where the whole area can hear it. I am getting too old for that beep and sorry if this is sexist but you know it ain't women. It's definitely men. Guys sending unsolicited dick pics because a girl was being nice to them. Wash your beep hands after using the restroom goddammit. WTF is wrong with you? Edit, thanks for the awards kind strangers. I can't believe this is such a problem still. It happens every day in my office. Men who can't clean their own mess, do their laundry, 
cook their own food, being a functional adult basically. I used to live with three other people, two men and one woman, the guys couldn't help keeping the house clean even if their lives depended on it. One of them would help if pressured, but I'd had to clean everything again because he had such low cleaning standards, but the other one wouldn't pick up a broom. How guys handle rejection. Lots of women are outright scared to directly turn down a man's advances because some will harass them or get violent. I think it's one of the big reasons ghosting has become such a common thing in dating. When they say they are babysitting their own children. I used to buy my ex fiance flowers every other week. I did it to show I cared and because it helped uplift our living space. Every time without fail if I'd pass some random old guy they'd laugh at me, ask what I'd done wrong, say, ooh someone's in trouble, or just imply that I've somehow been emasculated. Like for beep's sake it could be for someone's grave for all you know. Im 6 4, tatted, generally pretty high testosterone type guy, but I don't ever need to justify any of my actions to the imaginary high council of manly men. You can bench press a defeated mountain lion in the morning and unwind with a pina colada in the bubble bath while wearing a charcoal face mask in the evening, the two are not related at all. When they don't know how to keep a toilet clean. Beep public restrooms. Not standing up to be a father to their children, absent dads. Saying oh I have to babysit my kids. You are parenting your children while the mother is out or away. Men who refuse to call out their male friends for their beep behavior. I know so many guys who keep one beep dude in their friend group just because it'd be weird to call them out on their misogynistic, racist, homophobic behavior. That every one of my previous partners has been sexually assaulted by other men. Knowing how some guy out there has treated a kind, loving woman in that way makes me furious that they feel entitled to do that because they are a man. What was probably a momentary pleasure for him is a pain those women carry with them years on and all I can do is try and restore their faith in my gender through my own actions. Some get annoyed at other guys for having fun when you're out, having fun. As a man I have known many women that have been sexually assaulted by other men. It's way more common than you would think and I just don't understand what makes these guys do this. I'm a man with wants and needs like everyone else but I would never force anyone to do something they didn't want to do. Way too many stories of girls getting raped or assaulted by drunk or sober guys and it really makes me sick. I just don't get why they do that. The way some of them treat women. Too many guys think it's okay to just slap a random girl's ass that they don't even know. I've seen it in person three times already. It gives the rest of us a bad rep. When they make an unfunny joke at your expense to look good in front of women. Proper dick move. The creepy and inappropriate questions and comments the older men make to the young bartenders where I work. Those who aren't comfortable with their own masculinity that they question yours. Machismo in general is overrated and reeks of insecurity. Talking over or being dismissive of women in the workplace. I'm finding it's getting better with the younger generations, but it's still embarrassing and frustrating to see. That if you compliment someone's appearance, either male or female, they automatically assume that you're hitting on them. Ego. Like seriously, we're all in this together. What is is there to prove? Edit. Noticed a grammar problem edit too? I mean to say an inflated ego, or that it is only there to mask insecurity in general final edit. These are just my beliefs, based on what I've seen. I've received some comments in jest, and some in support, with others telling me I'm wrong. It's awesome that we can see all sides of this, thanks for the reading material through my second vaccine dose. The guys who have to be the alpha. They usually start asserting their dominance when they give you a handshake that turns your knuckles white. Then it progresses to invading your personal space while puffing their chest out. Insecure losers. May your day be filled with joy and happiness. And please remember to subscribe to Upvote for the best quality content every day.